Well, hello and welcome to another video of Ikebana Beautiful. My name is Desiree Castellijn and I'm arranging today in this small container. I put some Kenzans in it, the Kenzans I have at home. A bigger one and a smaller one. All together it looks like this. This morning I had a walk with my dogs in the woods and I saw some beautiful branches and I cut them and took them home and now I'm going to arrange with them and you will see what it becomes. So at first I pick my, I pick my scissors and go to work. Beautiful color branches, I love them. Take some leaves uh, off, some thin branches, and then I measure a little bit for the length of the stem. And then the first one goes in, like this. And then the second one. Also measuring it a little bit, so I have the good length of the branches, put some leaves off and here I go, second one, second one goes in and the flowers are still Tumbling down. Here I am. <laughs> hi, hi. So, next branch. I have some more here. Beautiful branches with colors in yellow. Yellow is a trendy color. Next year you will see lots of yellow in the shops. And here is the second one. A third one. Here it goes. And then we go further with all kind of stems. I like these stems. I worked with it in another video. Maybe you've seen it already. Or maybe you would like to see it. Just take a look at the vi other videos and then you'll see what I mean by that. This is Fritillaria here, beautiful. You can't see it so closely. I put it here a little bit. Here, here I go. It should be a spring feeling. When you see this arrangement, you should feel spring. So we put a lot of spring in it. And I hope you already feel a little bit of spring. Thank you. 
hope it's not too boring for you because I don't talk that much when I am arranged. But you can see what I'm making and then enjoying it a little bit while I'm making it. Today it's a real sunny day in Holland. Not so warm, but a nice spring feeling outside. So I took my dogs to the woods and then we saw this branch. And my biggest dog, he liked the smell of the flowers. So he tried to eat some flowers. There it goes. I hope you like the colors because the yellow is not what I used to arrange in. But it's yellow and green, eh? it's not only yellow, it has a greenish thing in it. And just another one of that beautiful Fritillaria. Take another stem. So you can see more of that beautiful flowers. I like them a lot. Picking the right spot for it. Here it goes. Just pick some grasses. They're real fragile, but so beautiful to arrange. You can put them inside like this. Keep watching the head tumbling. Such a beautiful texture. Here it goes. And that's why I bought them because of that texture, that beautiful, fragile texture. There you have it, and let's see if I should complete it with something, something else. So I looked at it and I think it's not complete with another flower in it. And I'm cutting it now and you will see the difference. I think. I need one more flower. But you can see the difference. It's too high. I have to take some off. Far too high. I said that in the other video. Cutting is the most difficult thing. Cutting your flowers in flower range. Because you dare to cut the flowers. I think this is pretty. And I need one more. One more of the same color. One more accent. A little bit lower. More to cut. Yes, here it is. And there you have it. This beautiful spring arrangement. Enjoy it.